The Psychotic Time Wasters present Whose League Is It Anyways? This season starring Playing Fetch With Your Graveyard It's PTW Bo. This is Kink Looks like we have a slowly approaching bear The bear will be in eventually Scratch that The bear will arrive sooner than thought Oh shit, bear is approaching At alarming speeds It's PTW G-Man Big number is big Wins. Take what you can and give nothing back. It's Ace Dis Eternity. Oh my fucking god, it's a dinosaur with a vampire riding on its back. It's vinyl. Another plus one. Another plus 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 one. It's PTW King. Hakuna Matata. It's PTW Dust. Season 8, match 2. Whose league is it anyways? Welcome in, everybody. Tonight we got PTW Wiz, Aces Attorney, PTW Vo, and Vinyl Mine. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. It is Friday, and I'm playing Magic. It's Friday Night Wednesday. Magic, baby, here Wednesday. in Whose League. Well, if you're new around here, Who's League is anyways is the best Commander League game show on the internet where everything is made up and the points are the only thing that matters. That's right, we build Commander decks to a theme every season, and this season it's the And Commanders from March of the Mommy. But, that's enough about that. We're going to move right over to Vo, the point curator of Who's League is it anyways. What are we looking like going into match two? Yeah, tell us, Vo. Only one match on the books. First place, we got Vo at 40. Second Talk place, speaker. we got Aestus with 29. Third place, it's Wizard Lizard with 25. And coming up the rear, it's G-Man with 22. And tonight, we have a new showing for the season. Uh, Vinyl, what will you be playing in Season 8? Yeah, uh, thanks guys for having me on. Uh, I will be playing uh, Galta and Mavrin. Uh, the He is a uh, three, two green, and two white uh, legendary dinosaur vampire. That's right, the coolest creature type there is. Um, he's a 12-12 with trample, <laughs> and whenever I attack, I choose one. Create a tapped and attacking XX green dinosaur creature token with trample where X is the greatest power among other attacking creatures, or create X 1-1 one, one white vampire creature tokens with lifelink, where X is the number of other attacking creatures. So, big dinosaur, go wide, go tall, make lots of, make lots of big swingy things. That's, that's me. Woo. Yikes. I'm gonna eat y'all. Excellent. What budget did you shoot for? Yeah, my budget was $100. Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> well, it looks like everyone's got their seven. Everybody ready to get going? Oh, yeah. Where is that? Any uh, pregame? Uh, Vo must die. Oh, okay. The leader. <laughs> That's some interesting pregame. Well, before the game, Simon here won the roll, so he will be on the play. You may proceed when you're ready. I feel ready. Let's draw. I'm going to play a forest. And turn one play. I'm going to suspend a search for tomorrow. Whoa. And I will pass. Whoa. I'll see you right. tomorrow. I will draw a card. I will play an island as land for turn. I will use my free die roll to roll on the plane. That's a six. Where are we headed to? Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. We got creatures get plus one, plus one in haste. Creatures have fire breathing. Uh, target player discards card at random. And black, red, and green creatures have Devour 5. Hmm, interesting. You know what? All these are dangerous to me this early in the game. Let's start off by going wild. Top left, please. Choo! Tazim. Creatures can't, can't block. block. 
Interesting. Sick. Okay. Just for the hell of it, I'm going to tap this and roll and see what happens. Get it in. That is a five. Nothing. And that'll pass turn. Okay. One plane walk and one die tax. That's how you do it. I will draw. I'm going to play a forest as land for turn. And I also have a turn one play. Whoa. Play a Findhorn elves. I'm in danger. Um, and then I'm going to roll my free roll. It's a one! I draw a card for each land I control, which is Wow. Cool. Welcome to Value Town. I know, right? Wow. All right. Uh, so that's Hacking. one in us, and I will pass the turn. Yeah. Involving wild. Then roll, because maybe we get to draw a card. Nope. I'm going to crack it for a swamp and pass the turn. <laughs> Untap. Draw. Move a counter, so go from two to one. Sorry, I wasn't showing that before. I will play a demolition field and then tap two for swift foot booties and pass my turn. All right, let's draw a card and then tap. Got to play a mountainous land for turn. I'm going to use this free roll to see what happens. That's a one. So I draw one for each land I control at that point. That's two. Oh, two lands. God, God damn. Crazy. How do I keep forgetting to roll? Oh my God. Because you're I a mean, big dumb dummy. It's great, but now I got to get rid of some cards. Well, since I got nothing else to do, tap them out and roll again. Six. Good God, man. <laughs> He's on fire. Where are you taking us? We got Where are we going? Devour 5, discard at random. Whenever a player casts an instant sorcery with a single target, it gets copied and targets everything it can target. <laughs> okay. And whenever a player casts a spell, they flip a coin. If they lose the flip, counter that spell. Chaos warp time? That would be fascinating. Um, I do have two permanents. That could also completely ruin me. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's be the agent of chaos. Top left, let's go. Yeah. Into yeah. the unknown again. Nar Isle. It gets a counter, and then it deals damage uh, equal to the number of counters on it. At the upkeep. Great. Cool, that sounds like a lot of not my problem. Mm -hmm. I got this card too. I will discard. I'll discard a Rashmi, the Eternity's Crafter, and a Tala, the Problem Storm. Four, five, six, seven. Rip it it was not a choice I was very fond of. But I've done all that I can do, so I'll pass turn. Flames. Land for turn. And then. <clears throat> We're gonna tap. Oh shit! I forgot to take uh, damage for. Take my, that uh, damage. At my upkeep. I'm gonna tap three and cultivate. I'm gonna go get Damn. forest. Uh, so two forests. One will go into my hand. Okay, and then uh, I will pass turn. Ramping. Untap. Take two damage. Draw. We'll go Battlefield Forge. Let's give her a roll. Plains Walk. Hey. So get we us got out of here. the coffee spells, the counter spells. Uh, when one or more creature control deal with damage to a player. Ooh. If there is no monarch, you become the monarch. We get monarch in the game. Ooh, players skip their untap step. Why rise tapped out? Mmm. Mmm. Super rude. What yeah, the we're fuck? going there. <laughs> really? 
And then I was going to play a group hug card. But oh. I guess <laughs> Thank not. two for Stormfist Crusader. What On my the? upkeep, everybody loses oh. a life and draws a card. Look, it's going to keep vinyl slowed down, man. Come on. It's a good idea. Come on. He's that crazy. Is crazy. Dinosaur. I'm going to pass the turn. You're nuts. <laughs> I'm going to draw. Oh, my God. You get your search for tomorrow, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You see this, man? <laughs> Everybody clocked that, right? It's for the greater good, okay? Is it? Yes! I don't want a dinosaur! Okay, so here's the question. Greater good's in this deck. Do I float one? <laughs> and be super greedy and try and roll? I mean, or have all of my permanents tapped? Might as well, huh? You know? I'm going to float one. What could go wrong? Roll the three. What's the worst that could happen? going to use the floating one. Okay. That's a six. We're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We got the damage and upkeep. We got when you planes walk away from here, return all creatures from all graveyards to the battlefield. We um, got uh, uh, make goats. And we got... When you planeswalk here and at the beginning of your upkeep, mill three. And when we leave here, each player returns all land from their graveyard to the battlefield. That one. On to the land plane. So we mill three? Uh, you what mill three. Mill three. And land. Then everybody's upkeep, they'll mill three. Incarnation took you. Fuck! Land! Okay, got two land, though. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, And when I planeswalk away from here, each player. Okay, cool. When chaos ensues, return target non-land card. Ooh. Okay. We like it here. Pass. I still think we should have just left it in the uh, Yon Fog. Yeah, I bet you think that. <laughs> Come on. Hey, well, we're only one step away from the Yon Fog. We could go back. We could go back. That's Captain up to you. Landry Storm. Chaos ensues. Return target non-land card from your graveyard to your hand. Also, you're muted. Yes, that. So I am. Uh, it's okay. We're observing. Let's get a tally back into my hand, actually. That's nice. Ooh. Did you mill three at the beginning of your upkeep? I did not, actually. You do that now. Get a little more choice in what you get back. So now I draw a card. Yeah. It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> You're a genius at this point. Then the yeah, chaos yeah. goes off. And I will return. Yeah, a tolly to your hand. Actually, so I think I'll go for this hand. unexpected windfall, actually. Oh, there you go. That has a little bit more utility. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, cool. We're good. Captain Lannery Storm has got haste. Uh, let's go. Vo's got something to defend himself. So let's <laughs> send Captain Lannery Storm at vinyl for two. Uh huh. When yep, she attacks, dinosaur, I get it. I create a treasure token. Oh, I should get it. Going to be turned for me. Let me write down. Pass turn. All right. Untap. And draw. Actually, I don't have any this At least I do. I have three. I have a upkeep figure. No three. Bang, bang, bang. I got a Rogue's Passage in there, and a Woo. Druid class, and a Kodama's Reach. That's not my hand. That's my graveyard. And then I draw. Play. Well, cast three. Three. Nice. And cast a Topiary Stomper. It begins. The dinosaurs. The plant dinosaur. Um, he's a 4-4 with Vigilance. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I search for a basic land, put it tapped, and then shuffle. Can't attack or block unless I control seven or more lands. So, we're still a ways out from that. Um, and then... Five. Nothing. That's worth nothing. Um, I will pay one and roll again. Six. Damn it. 
Each player returns all land cards from the graveyard to the battlefield tap. I wanted to get a mill before that. I have no lands in my graveyard. This is a tragedy. But that's fine. I'll uh, we can still do it. Evolving wild. And then so I played another evolving oh, wilds. Look at this brain. Get the brain on him. Um. So we can go to the spells copy for every target they could have. We can go to at upkeep. You may change life totals with target player. Oh. We can go to creatures of seven power seven or greater can't attack or block. Yeah, go or ahead. Or we can go back to the untapped plane, or there's two unknown planes. Um, let's go uh, diagonal right. Not the creatures of power seven or greater can't attack or block? <laughs> nope. That's Not so weird. Okay. All creatures have fire breathing. All creatures have fire breathing, yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Cool. But also make dragons. Y'all see that? Yes. Chaos make a dragon, yeah. Chaos making dragons. All right, now I pass the turn. Sorry. Okay. On my upkeep, everybody loses life and draws a card from Stormfist. Draws a card. Thank you. Yep. Um, let's get a free roll. Nada. We'll float one. We'll play Rakdos Kerner and pick the mountain up. We'll use the one roll again. Nada. Um, I will so move... two to roll again. <laughs> I'll move to the end step and I'll discard a death kiss. And I'll pass. Whoa, what's going on? Does he have nothing to play or is he going to hold up interaction the whole game? Nobody knows! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Untap. I drop my whole hand. Undep and drop. All right. Well, I did promise some uh, group huggery. I, like I must that. follow through. I will play a swamp. I'll tap three for rights of flourishing. Nice. There you go, buddy. That shouldn't make a dinosaur. Um, I'll play another land. Tapping one, two, three, four for an Ikor Elixir. Oh, baby. And he's not done yet because y'all gave me so many lands. I'm going <laughs> to tap three. Root Weaver Druid. Oh, my God. Aestus, are you taking the deal? You can search your library for up to three lands. You have to give one of them to Mr. Wizard Lizard tapped, uh, but you get the other two tapped. Fascinating question. I do. You. And then again, I do got treasure production at this point. I think I'm okay, actually. I'll pass on that. Okay, he's passing. I know. That puts me in an awkward position. <laughs> um, you should probably say no. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Jesus, that kind of sucks for you. <laughs> he makes treasures. He make them treasure? That was the impetus of that decision. Like, I can create a mana base without also ramping you. What kind of land do you want to give me? Man? You well, can have a planes. Daddy need... Mana. Every, have a shiny planes. Everybody got so many lands, so you can have a swamp. And it's three. It's not basics, right? It's just it's basic. Oh, no, it is basic. It is basic. Uh, I'll take two more for us. What are you getting for me, vinyl? A planes? You got a planes, a shiny one. And then I'm gonna roll the planer die. Got advantage, oh shit. And ignore one. I will ignore the one that is not a planeswalk and let the planeswalk. Whoop a doo! We got copy the spell for everything you can target, exchange life totals. All creatures have exalted. And uh, if you attack with exactly two creatures, those creatures get a double strike. Oh, fuck all of that. Let's go bottom left. Bam! Hippodome. <laughs> all creatures get minus five, minus, or minus five. Oh. That seems fine. 
Interesting. I am okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> As the one who has nothing going on, I am good with this. <laughs> all right, let's untap all the stuff and draw a card. And draw another one because the rights are flourishing. That's right. That's the world we're in. A mountain right. for turn and also a forest for turn. Now we have options. The Hippodrome. The Hippodrome. Okay. Let's tap three. And I'll use that three. Which three? Damn it. Uh, let's keep you. Yeah, that's fine. And I'll use that to play an inspiring statuary. All non artifact spells that I control have improvise. There are two kinds of magic players. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. The ones that like artifacts and the ones that don't. I am going to <laughs> swing Captain Lannery Storm at Vinyl and do no damage, but still make a treasure token. Indeed. I will declare no blockers because I don't want any shenanigans. <laughs> fucking zero right to the dome. Okay. I'm going to tap a mountain a forest. And two treasure tokens. Yeah. And I'll use that to play an unexpected windfall, which will make me two treasure tokens. I will draw two cards. I'll have to discard first. I'll discard a pain distributor. Draw two cards. Two, four, five, six, seven, seven cards in hand. Let's roll that player die and see what happens. Three. Nothing. Ye yes, pass turn. All right. One tap. Keep. Nothing. Draw twice. Woo! We'll go one, two, and three. For a mentor of the meat. Woo! Um, Love that card. Uh, three for a champion of Lamholtz. Oh my god. I will, That's not good. Uh, <laughs> I will pay the one and draw a card. Or do I have time already? Like, <laughs> I will Yikes. play. Well, since I can't deal any damage to anybody, I'm going to go ahead and roll the planer die. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, right. Don't you want to be in the Hippodrome? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, three on tap lands. Go ahead and tap a forest. Roll again. All right. Well, I get to destroy a thing. Destroy target creature with power zero or less. Mm. So, which is pretty much everything right now. Oh, yeah. It's everything. It's a May trigger. Yeah, but I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna. I but feel I'm like gonna. I should get rid of Lannery Storm because it's too much value, but I know you're like... It's pretty nice. Yeah, I think I have to do that. It's kind of the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, yeah, getting pinged for one is not as dangerous as letting you out, letting you ramp out. So and It gives you a card, too. Just Asus, remember who gave you stuff and who took stuff away from you. <laughs> I mean, he's already attacked me a couple of times, and I know yeah, why, I understand why, but and he's not gonna stop. He's gonna kill you. He's gonna get your ass. <laughs> he is. Uh, I Lannery. sacrifice a treasure token, and I'm using Mythium Skin to give Lannery Storm hexproof. Oh, get wrecked. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> okay, and then I'll pass the turn. 
Untap. Draw, draw. Uh, everybody lose a life and draw a card. Thank you. We're going to go Mountain Isolated Chapel. It's my two lands for turn. We're going to do Icar Elixir for four. Let's uh, roll. A nothing and a chaos. I think we should get rid of Champion Lamb Holt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no objections from me. Yeah, I did roll two dice. Um, I think we're going to pay one roll again. We got one floating. Nothing and chaos. Well, let's try to get Landry again. He wanted it too much. <laughs> he used a spell to protect it. He wanted it too much. I'll let you go. <laughs> Uh, then we'll add one to the floating roll again. Nothing. Nothing. Rats. Well, I guess I'm gonna pass, boys. Oh, he's got mana up. We love the hippodrome. So we got something. I was having a good time running around, you know, not hurting anybody. Until we do. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what are the adjacent planes? We got change life totals. All creatures have exalted. All creatures are enchantments. And uh, the maelstrom. Uh, when you play and talk, and at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent, you may smack it in a play. Chaos. I'm going to kill the mentor of the meat. <laughs> this, this has been the best plane ever. Fucking bullshit. You wanted a board wipe? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, the worst thing is, I. After the game, I'll have to tell you what I had in my hand. <laughs> I expected Secure the Waste or something. You're going to tap uh, two and roll again? Well, you might as well try again. <laughs> <laughs> this game is a curse. Um, I'm going to tap... You go to the Maelstrom get a free thing. <laughs> six for my oh, commander. In response, I'd like to pay two for a Tibalt's Trickery. Oh, you want to counter that shit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you will mill three cards. Mill three? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. And Mask reveal from the brand, path of the animus, and a land. You reveal from top until you reveal a non-land card, and you may cast it. I will exile your Icar Elixir. No! <laughs> You earned it. By countering my commander? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's worth points for me to respond to your thing. Sorry, Craig did this. <laughs> um, Craig did do that. I'm going to tap three and roll again. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's the right play, buddy. <laughs> Six, planeswalk. We're going bottom right. Hell yeah. Get the hell out of here. Never a creature in the against blue. double strike and haste. Whoop Great. Good. Good, game. <laughs> Good game. Uh let's so here. let's get the fuck I'm gonna play out another land for a turn. <laughs> let's stay ah. here. Well, this is an interesting development. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes! Oh my god, let's stay here. Let's Kinda go. really wish I still had my Lannery Storm. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here, dog. Alright, so that's three untapped treasure tokens. All these lands untapped. I draw two cards. Couldn't just go to the maelstrom. Had to go to a random plane. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tap two treasure tokens. And a forest. Which I will use to play a tireless provisioner. Thank God all those land shenanigans are passed. I will play a command tower as land for turn and make a treasure token. I'm going to tap two of these. Inspiring statuary for three. Four or five. Yep. Now you've to play a Kappa Cannoneer. Turtle time. Which I should have done first. I'm deeply annoyed that I didn't. Turtle time. 
counters. <laughs> uh, whoops. I've already gotten the benefit out of this, so let's go ahead and roll this die and see if we can get out of here. Uh-oh. That's a six. Let's, let's go. Get back out. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> we got all creatures have exalted. We got creatures get plus one for each creature that shares a type with them. We got non black cards going to the graveyard, loses you a life. And we got get a random thing. Let's go to get a random thing. Oh when boy. You and when you planeswalk and at your upkeep, you reveal the top card of your library. If it's a permanent, you may slap it into play. What do we got? Oh my. Ingress <laughs> <your> waters. <laughs> yes, please. What is it? And now I will swing this tireless provisioner and this cabin cabin cannoneer at Vo. Oh man! So I got a three-two with double strike <laughs> and a four-four with double strike. And then they both deal double damage on each of those. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna declare a blocker on the turtle. And That's fair. Malakir rebirth, my guy. That's fair. That seems good. So I'll All right, so Tyler's provisioner well gets in from provisioner. Oh yep. God. Yeah. <laughs> so Jesus Christ. Final that team, out right? They're all team. We're on a team, right? right but no, anyway. no, no, no. That's not what I meant when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I meant don't kill me. <laughs> that worked out beautifully. Um, don't counter my commander more, please. <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pass turn. All right. I will untap. I will upkeep. It's a permanent. Slap that shit onto the battlefield. I now have we love it here. Blessing. I can. Uh... So we're just going to play two forests as my lands for turn first off. Uh-huh. Free roll of the planar die real quick. And it's a six, baby. Let's go. We're going back to that double strike hasty boy. This is when I want to see the dinosaur. (laughs) Oh, you want to see a dinosaur? Oh, baby. (laughs) Now we're cooking with gas. All right. Uh, Seven. For a Galta and Mavrin. Hasty, double strike, trample. Oh, boy. Here we go. Um, Then we're going to pay two green. And we're going to cast a Galta, Primal Hunger. <laughs> Guess I'm cutting all my group hug cards. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, going diagonally away from this plane, it looks like we have a response from Aces. Yeah, you got a response? Counterspell oh. on the Galta. Counterspell on the Galta. For the first one, right? For the first one, I don't know, you're muted. <laughs> Unmute Aestus so we can know what you're responding to. Oh, right. The uh, the stupid, stupid trample dinosaur. The most stupid, stupid trample dinosaur. Well, the one that doesn't have a vampire. Okay. <laughs> the one that oh! doesn't have a vampire. Um, okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to go... Yeah, we can do that. We're going to go one, two, three, and cast a Wayward Sword Tooth. And then I'm going to move to combat. Um, I'm going to uh, okay. uh, I'm going to swing uh, Galta and Mavrin. I'm going to swing everything, so this will be fun. I'm going to swing everything. Um, I'm going to make another 5-5 five, five, uh, trampoly dinosaur when I do. But uh, yeah, yeah so the dino, uh, so Galta and Mavrin is coming at Aestus. Um, the Wayward Swordtooth and, well, I think I'm going to send everything else at Vo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know they're in a pact, right? You kill me or 2v1. Don't do that. I'm 
think Aestus is going to die from the commander damage. No, I have a 4-4 four, four blocker. You deal 24. I have one point of commander damage Ooh, left. Oh, he ain't going to die. Ooh. If you want to kill him, you better re reassess. Well, re well, it does deal <laughs> double damage. Um, Let's see. Well, I can swing everything at Aestus and just take Aestus out then. We'll, just do well what the fuck is this? <laughs> Uh, I so declare I, attackers. I mean, oh no! Up. I declare them differently now. Now that I know well, that wait. I declared wrong to kill well, the guy. Well, math is hard. I mean, I say we can. Then I'll just leave it the way that it was. <laughs> we'll leave it the way that it was. I thought I mean, everything I'm... was tapped. Sorry. I mean, it does deal double damage, so it's still gonna kill you, Aestus. It's no, got double it's... strike. Why does it do double damage? It doesn't do double damage, yeah. It just and grabs Marauders? Strike. If a source you control. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, I, I control. thought it was everyone and my oh, butthole. Fuck partner. no, I wouldn't put that in my deck. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Never mind. No, that's fine. We can leave it. I just, sorry, I thought that was tapped. You'll just have an angry, alive Asus still in the game. Yeah, so. Yeah, okay. I just feel like I have the least going on, but yeah. All right, so I'll take 20 points of damage. I'll yeah, lose I, my anger. I pleaded my case before attackers, but I thought it was clear that I... <laughs> I thought we were friends. Not even that. I just thought it was clear that I've had a 2-2 two -two in play the whole game. But You are dead. Is that your turn, Vinyl? That's my turn, yeah. All right, I will go to my turn then. Untap. And drop. And draw again. And play a forest. And I'm going to attempt to plane block. Got a six. We're going to the plane where I can play any number of lands. That's too far. Can. It's too far away. No way. Yeah, it's too far away. How do I get there? You gotta go left twice. All right, take me left. You get a random oh, permanent off the top of your yeah, deck. That's pretty good. Yeehaw, a forest. <laughs> I'll tap that forest and attempt spinning one. What's what do I get? Return permanent from your graveyard to the battlefield. A mask of Grizzlebrand? Question mark. I'm gonna tap two and roll again. Tapping three to a uh, roll again. Ooh, it's a five and a three. It's still nothing. I'm going to tap eight and cast my commander. And, and tap one to give it some boots. That's all my manas. Very sad. I'm going to swing at... I can't kill either of you. That's tragic. So no swing. So easy turn. Pass. <laughs> All right, well, let's resolve during the upkeep. I'll untap. Get a free and thing. The top card is a bootlegger stash. Oh, that's not Pretty bad. Good. I mean, it's well, not bad, good. but I kind of need something to not die. Uh, I mean, that buffs up your Kappa Cannon here pretty big. Six lands and make six treasure tokens. Rut Row Raggy. Two, three, four, five, six. You get six plus one plus one counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bringing that up to a 10 10. Let's sacrifice two treasure tokens for two blue. I'm going to use that to play a brood star. Broodstar is presently a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11. Okay, let's actually roll the player die and see what happens. See if that changes anything. That's a 5. That doesn't change anything. Tap a bootlegger stash, inspiring statuary, and. Sacrifice a treasure token to play Shiny Impetus on Mavrin and Galta. What is it? 
Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, you create a treasure token. Um, in response, I'm going to pay one and two life and give it protection from red. Mm. Well, it was worth a shot. This is your host, King Knight, just checking in to let everybody know it's halftime. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to hit that follow button. And we use that to roll the player die. That's a one. Graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, that's helpful, I suppose. A thing. Congrats. Woohoo. You still have pro red. That's not going to help. You don't have haste. And then I just leave myself open to get murdered anyway. All right, fine. Let's pull Atali the Primal Storm onto the board. Okay. But I'm probably going to die next turn if nothing happens anyway. So screw it. Go from five treasure tokens down to three. Pull the player die again. That's a five. Go down to zero. It's player commander. Will the player die again? Who needs to play their commander? I mean, seriously. I haven't really had the room to breathe to be able to do so. That's a two. That's disappointing. All right, well, you're not dead, but now you're a 3-3. Three, three. And I really got nothing to do but pass turn. So I pass turn. Okay. It's out. It's a planes. Oh. Forest is land for turn. We're gonna, we're gonna move to combat. That was inevitable. Yeah. Um, I'm going to tap four in my rogue's passage to make Galta and Mavra unblockable this turn. Great. Because, yeah, of course. Um, I'm going to swing Galta and Malvern at, uh, at Aether, and I'm going to swing my 5-5 five five Dino and my Topiary Stomper at Wiz. Uh, when I do, I'm going to tap three and beast within Yargle and Multani. Who's gonna give me a free three three? Gee, thanks. <laughs> I will make a three three beast. Yargle um, and Multani will yep. go to my graveyard. And um when I also I should have made my fucking token my swung too and make another dinosaur. Another five five dino that's also swinging it whiz. So I'm taking fourteen uh, second main, I'll tap two, um, and uh, cast an R mutation and destroy the uh, the um, what's the other thing? Oh, this destroy the thing that's giving us lands and draws. Rights of flourishing. Rights of flourishing, yeah. And how many mana is that? Three. I will make three, uh, yeah. three saplings. Little mushroom boys. Um, and I'll go ahead and roll the planar die. I'll pay uh, one. Roll it again. Four again. I'll pay two and roll again. It's a three. And then uh, I will pass the turn. Untap. 
Get a swamp. Cool. <laughs> oh. The number of times that's hit lands this game is absurd. <laughs> I will play a swamp as my land for turn, and then I will yeah. do my free roll. Neither are good. I'll tap one and do it again. Up oh, there it is. Got a six. Take me left. All the lands. All the lands. Okay. All the lands. I'm, I'm in danger. Two. And two more. And cast Dread Return. Uh huh. And I will put Yargo and Maltani into play. Bro. Nice. Then I will tap two, three, four. Nope, I need another green. Use another green because we're casting greater good. Casting what? Greater good. Oh, okay. Yeehaw. Here we go. Um, and then I'm going to tap two more and cast Dying Wish on Yargo and Maltani. What I do? Uh, enchant creature I control. When enchanted creature dies, target player loses X life, and I gain X life where X is its power. Ooh, that's fun. So you're going to choose yourself, right? Right. Okay. And then I'm going to tap three and equip the Mask of Grizzle Brand to Yargo and Maltani. Uh -huh. And then I will sacrifice it with greater good. Uh -huh. I will deal 18 damage to you. Uh -huh. I will deal. I will gain 18 life and then lose 18 life and draw 36 cards. Follow. Wee. So you're just gonna play all your lands, replay Yargle and Multani, and then swing at me and kill me? Is that what's happening? Yeah, but I want to do it. that effect. Yeah. yeah. One, three, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ooh, gotten it close. It's in my graveyard right now, so I will need to get it back. Did I draw Victimize? N no. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I will, however... I've had one creature die this turn. Only one creature's died. Yeah, Yargle and Ultani. So I can tap four for Diagraph Rebirth. Put Yargo and Maltani into play. Nice. Tap one to put the boots on it. Uh -huh. Tap three to put the mask on it. Uh -huh. It fly. And hit you with it. Reach. Big sedge. Dinosaur got short arms. And do I have a way to make it a commander damage kill? No. I do not. No. I could have potentially had him gain life. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the stats. Rip. Good game. That was close. It was. Kind of super accelerated towards the end there. Yeah, that double strike haste location needs to go. Oh my god, that was amazing. I was like, yay! <laughs> I was so mad when he played the next card because it was like it, it it took me too long to realize it's like it yeah, enters sorry. the board, it's got double strike and haze. Oh crap, it's trampled, that's commander damage. Stats, stats, stats. So stats. Uh Wiz, you first. Uh I planeswalked five times. I got two chaos and I paid a total of eleven mana to planeswalk. Wow. Alright, I managed to planeswalk a total of three times. <laughs> My maximum planes tax was three. I rolled ten planar dice. I got two chaos results. Uh, I managed to pull off two interacts. I'm not sure what I wrote this FB here, but I can't remember what that's supposed to mean. First blood. Oh, First blood, yeah. That's the one. You did not play your commander though. No, I meant like there were other priorities always. Like the problem yeah, no, with Rashmi is like unless you can get her on the board really, really soon and protect her, she's like she slows down the deck because she doesn't do anything on the first turn. She's a really easy target. It's like okay, well, I gotta make my treasure tokens. I gotta put stuff on the board to, to, to protect me. Like maybe there will be a point where I'll like do the thing 
that the deck does, but it just didn't happen. The, way the game went too fast. Um, I rolled the planar die. I paid six total planar die tax. I planeswalked once. I got chaos twice. Um, I wasn't tracking interaction, but I know I cast at least few instant speed things while other things were happening. Um, I don't think I, I did. Didn't pay any commander tax. I think Wiz maybe paid commander. Yeah, tax. I paid one commander tax. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie, on to the voting, splashes play. I'm gonna go with giving two to the Tybalt's trickery. Fuck Ooh, you. Yeah. Thanks. And I'm gonna give my other splashiest play to another counter spell because I felt like that's what was going on was the counter spell on the Galta to make it not everyone dying at the same time. Oh <laughs> yeah, that was huge. Yeah. All right, splashiest play. I guess I'm gonna have to go with the number one to Wizard for going from about to die to winning in one turn. See how many lands I played. <laughs> draw 36 lands, play like th draw 36 cards, pay like eight or nine lands, gain 16 life. That was that's about as splashy as it gets. Um, second place, I'm probably going to have to give to Vital, realistically speaking. Like, isolating it down to which play in particular is a little bit difficult, but like that. Actually, no. That double strike almost completely lethal commander damage on a trampled dinosaur was pretty big. Yeah. So I'll give my one point to that. Thanks. Um, yeah, for Splashy's play for me, I'm going to go um, draw 36 cards, gain a grillion life um, with Wiz, and then follow up on that would be for um, countering the Galta was, was huge. That was like... If that had gone, if that had gone through, that might have been game right there, honestly. So, well, at least I feel a little bit better about my decision now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, I mean, like, they're, yeah, I say either of them were excellent choices, and if both of them got out on the field, it probably would have been game. Because I don't think Wiz even had a way to stop me there either. Fair enough. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Wiz and the backup points to the. Uh... Angbreath, Marauder, Double Strike, Haste. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Uh, best theme. Oh, wait. Chat? Question mark? Chat? Chat, chat. is voting for the draw 36 play. Oh, shucks, I'm chat. chat. I'm the worst. That seems right. Yeah, that was pretty huge. Best it's hard theme. to argue with that. Best theme. I'm going to give it to... Two to vinyl for dinosaurs, because I did see you play a lot of dinosaurs. I did. And then I I'll actually give... got a bunch of my dinosaurs this time. Yeah, I'll give the backup points to Croxa and Kernoros for being dead. <laughs> Why are you giving pity points to the arch enemy? He's already ahead. <laughs> it's on theme. I have to agree. Yeah, not give it on though. theme. <laughs> All right. Um... Top points. Um, like, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure how to parse this because, in terms of what the deck is meant to do, Yargo and Multani absolutely did that. Just yeet the commander in his face a couple of times and kill them in one turn. But on the other hand, that is a lot of dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll give I'll give two to Wizard and one to Vinyl. Understandable. Have a good day. <laughs> um, I'll give two points to Aestis for making a shit ton of treasures. Um, and one point to Wiz for just absolutely yargling everybody in the face. It is a yeet frog. He is. Yeet? That was disgusting. It's what the deck do when he did it. That <laughs> is why Vo countered it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give two to the pirates and one to the dinosaurs. What does chat have to say? Chat has voted for egg? 
Mm-hmm. Egg. Uh, <laughs> chat voted for dinosaur. Hashtag blessed. Dino. Egg. Fair enough. And last is the most valuable card. I really wish we had changed it to most valuable plane this season, because that one where we were just shooting mm-hmm. creatures on the chaos <laughs> was yeah. wild. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that definitely changed the flow of the game for me at the very I least. Guess, yeah. Well, um, and, yeah. I am going, going to give the most points to the Angroth Marauders. Oh yeah. And then second most. Yeah. Um, I'll give it to Galta. It didn't hit the battlefield, but it was really good and had a lot of threat level when it hit the board. I'm definitely going to have to give my two points to Galta and Mavarin, because... Oh, that's a commander. It is, but by the same token, it almost killed me in one turn. <laughs> mm-hmm. It should have. I, ha- I had exactly enough damage to not immediately die to commander damage. I got lucky on that one. Yeah. Um second most valuable i'm actually probably going to have to go with um oh what is the what is, what is the sacrifice the card to get the stuff to do the draw greater good, greater greater good. good. <laughs> it's definitely not the first time i've gotten points for that card yeah, yeah. so those are my votes it's tough to pick between rights of flourishing and greater good but one of those two um for sure um for first pick and then um those thing that let him keep rolling the rolling the planar die the icor uh icor elixir the icor elixir or whatever it was yeah because you took two you took two permanents off my board with that thing and that just cost you a mana it was pretty good yeah it's this season's soul ring yeah well i mean I had it in the in game one, and it did a lot for me. So, like, that's that's a pretty valuable card in this season. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like I don't remember if I have it in here, but if I don't, I need to add it because yeah, being able to roll two dice is just chef's kiss. She, um... Yeah, you're right. Can I give my Galta points to that? <laughs> I'm gonna give. Was it right of consumption that actually let you do that? Right of no. flourishing. It was the other spell, not right of consumption. Dying wish. Dying wish, yeah. Well, dying wish and um for the double tap. For the double tap. Yeah. And um let's go one. To Lanry Storm, maybe. I think Lanry Storm yeah. got you a good start. Oh yeah, that could have been way worse. That was that that did give me some pretty good tempo in the early game. Yeah. Chat, 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 chat. Chat is voting for rights of flourishing. Okay, dokey. I think it's funny that the game was like we're at the halfway point, and then like five minutes later, the game was over. <laughs> Yeah. Coming up. Tabulations complete. They're completed. Coming up to rear with 12, we got Vo. Oh, 12. Well, that averages out to a good number. Well, when you only play three spells but get killed first for some reason, that's what happens. (laughs) Moving on. Third place with 17 goes to Aestus. Second place with 20 is going to go to Vinyl. Oh god, I'm the boy, bad. nobody's gonna like this. First place is gonna go to Wizard Lizard with 43. Oh, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. No, not I'm at the all. bad guy now. Whoopie do. Well, do we know how that'll affect the league season? Oh, stays? yeah. First, we got Wiz with 35. Second, we got Bo with 27. Third, we got Asus with 24. Fourth, we got G-Man with 22, which means coming up the rear, it's vinyl with 21. Like this.
video and subscribe to the PTW YouTube channel to see more content and find out when our new videos release. Follow the PTW Twitch channel and subscribe for ad-free viewing. Don't forget to follow that Facebook and that Twitter to keep up with all the good news. <laughs>